the previous videos, we saw what compound statements are and how to check their validity. Now let's see what conditional statements are. If you watch this video carefully, then you will definitely understand this topic. Wait, what did I just say? Okay, let me write it for you. I said, if you watch this video carefully, then you will definitely understand this topic. So what am I doing here? I'm talking about a condition and a respective outcome. So what are such statements involving an if condition and an outcome called? Yes, such statements are called conditional statements. Now, in this statement, can you tell me what the condition is? Yes, it's if you watch this video carefully. And what's the outcome? Yes, you will definitely understand this topic. Let's denote this statement as P and this one as Q. So can you tell me now how can we represent a conditional statement? Yes, we can represent it as if P then Q, where P is the condition and Q is the outcome. Now, I want you to be a little more attentive here. In this statement, if P occurs, then what will be its implication? The implication of occurrence of P would be the occurrence of Q. So can we say that Q is nothing but the implication of P? That is, the occurrence of P implies the occurrence of Q. So we can write this as P implies Q. Mathematically, we can also write it as this, which is read as P implies Q, which means that if P happens, then Q will definitely happen. That is, if P, then Q. Okay, now that we know what a conditional statement is, can we think of a few more examples? Here's the first one. If I study well, then I will pass. And how about this? If a player commits a foul, then she is penalized. Simple, isn't it? Do share with us the examples you came up with. Now let me tell you that the conditional statements may also be of the form P only if Q or P if and only if Q. But we will see them in the videos to come. For now, let's see what converse statements are. We just saw what if then conditional statements are, that is, statements of the form if P then Q. Now can you tell me for this statement if Q then P is also true? That is, whether the converse of the statement is also true? Yes, for a statement of the form if P then Q, its converse statement would be if Q then P, that is, Q implies P. It's nothing but interchanging conditions and the outcome. Simply put, it means that if Q happens, then P also happens. Now let's see whether the converse statement is also true. Let's find out. Consider the first example again. If you watch this video carefully, then you will understand this topic. Now what would Q implies P or the converse for this statement be? Yes, the converse would be, if I understood this topic, then I watched the video carefully. But is this true? I'm afraid not. And why do I say so? Let's understand. By watching the video carefully, you will definitely understand this topic. But that is just one way of doing it. You may understand this topic by watching other videos or from some book or from any other source but need not be this video necessarily. Thus, we can say that for the statement P implies Q, the converse of the statement, that is, Q implies P, need not be true. Let's take one more example for clarity. Consider this statement. If Ronaldo plays well, then Juventus will win. What would be the converse of this statement? Yes, it would be, if Juventus won, then Ronaldo played well. Can you tell me whether the converse of this statement has to be true? Of course not. Let's understand why. Ronaldo playing well is one of the sufficient conditions for Juventus to win. That is, if Ronaldo plays well, then Juventus will win regardless of the other conditions. But does that mean it's the only condition for Juventus to win? Right, 
it isn't the only condition. Juventus may also win because of the other players performing well or the opponents not playing well or some other reason even though Ronaldo may not play well. So again, we see that for the statement P implies Q, we cannot say that Q also implies P. That is, converse need not be true. So now we know what an if-then statement is and also its converse. In our next video, we will see what inverse and contrapositive statements are.